Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. We learned a bit more in the last episode, and... Finally, we made it through most of Pirate's Life, probably, at least half of it. I'm kind of confused what I'm supposed to do. You're scared of the future. That's a valid fear. thing is, despite fear, you have to keep being able to face it. Did I miss something over here? Did I forget to pick something up in the room where I saw Basil's shadow? I don't really need the candles for any of these things. Except for... no, nah, not even that one. This lamp was lit recently, but I can't even go back in there. Yeah, I... I found that easily. I can't seem to find the actual objective, though. Oh, you think I missed something at the beginning? Okay, yeah, I'll head back then. Good to know, good to know, because I am a little bit lost currently. I can't swim, so I can't do that area up there. I already did that area down there. Right, I do remember, I forgot to light the thing in the bottom left down here. I forgot to go back and take care of it, you're right. Yep, okay, cool. Wooden track. And Wallmaster. Cool. Thank you, Krim. I appreciate that one. Because I was just, you know, kind of wandering. I may as well while I'm here. A single block of tofu. Would you like to eat some? Alright. Now to go on a joy ride. Oh, did I miss a melon somewhere? I'll have to grab it when I run back through the forest. Increase stream. Increase speed. Whatever. Uh, well, that's a mistake because I always fuck up gaming. Oh, hey, pink castle. Well, you let me know I missed something, so I'll actually jump back in. I think I might know where I missed it. I'll keep my eye open.
really wish this was faster. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, but I did. Oh, why are you jumping back on? <laughs> oh, whatever. Sorry, I was drinking water. Hydration is important. <laughs> also, something, something, backseating or something. I'm dumb. I can miss things. Oh, skip that one. Mainly because that's on me. Oh. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? It doesn't look like Basil's here either. Hey, look, it's Mary. Mary, Mary! Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it to the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mary. I... I was so scared. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. Eh, uh, it, it... It's times like these I really wish Basil was here. You can tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe that he wouldn't find them so creepy. <sighs> I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero, you're gonna have to deal with this eventually. These things only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a picnic with my friends. This forest is a lot scarier than the one near the playground. And a lot older, too. It does have a mysterious air about it, doesn't it? I heard there used to be a huge library filled with books here. But since no one took care of it, over time the library slowly sank into the ground. Who told you about that, Mary? Oh, just some shadows here and there. If you focus, you can see them, too. Whatever. Reading is boring. Who wants to read anyway? Where's this library now, Mary? Well, if I were to guess, I'd say it would be right beneath us. Like, underground? Yeah, somewhere around here, probably. Alright. So, first things first, what's for sale? Yeah. You don't have anything that good. I didn't realize there was a... Those are trees down there. I 100% thought this was like the edge of a cliff. I was trying to jump. <laughs> My immediate response is to hearing something's under me is to try to jump off a cliff to see if I can find something. Probably not the safest thing. Sprout wall. It's dead, Jim. Do a barrel roll. Sprout moles. What the hell is happening here? I'm glad to see the ones who left Otherworld totally did well for themselves. Hello, centipede of sprout moles. 
The King Crawler. Horrifying. Let's learn the painful truth. I'm a headbutt yet. Hey, hey, hey. Two hundred sixty, nice. A sprout mole appears. The lost sprout mole, I do not care. Let's beat this boss as fast as possible. I guess Hero can just attack the Lost Sprout Wolf. Nice, right in the heart. Stabby, stabby. Right in the heart. I'm a headbutt ya. Boss beaten, that was easy as hell. 2,610 XP and 487 clams. You found Sprout Mole Masks. Grew to level 23 and learned Mash. Button Mash! Ah. Oh. Didn't know it could eat Sprout Moles. That's fair. Alright. Uh. Masks made of Sprite Moles. Actually, now that I think about it, I have a moment to do this. The King Crawler. A mindless parasite that kills sprout moles and harvests their empty husks in order to extend its own body. I mean, yeah, ant. I didn't know it could eat it in battle. I didn't know that would do anything. Uh, where... Rare bear. Warning, do not provoke. Do not show weakness. Warning, do not provoke. Explodes when cornered. Oh, they explode? But why do they explode? Who planted this here anyway? I didn't know that. News to me. Just kill the enemies before they can do their special moves and you never have to worry about it. Oh, hey, it's the Terraria music. The Sprout Mole Village. Okay, at least some of them are doing well for themselves. A table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Okay, yeah. Same thing as before. Uh, hello, strange-looking Sprout Moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row tickets for it. I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance, heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. This is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know, I guess it looks interesting? But now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. Ahem, if I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sproutmole, sir. We have our tickets right here. Reached in your pocket and took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Sproutmole. Oh, oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you almost have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking Sproutmoles I've ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats. 
fellow normal King Sprout Moles. Uh, as a thing, when you say that something is missable, do you mean that Will doing the sweetheart thing mess me up on that? Just yes or no. Oh, I'm not getting a response, so... Oh. Gotcha. Then I'll just keep going, then. Yeah, better be sorry. Look at this huge stage is just as amaz amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It's, it looks like the show is about to start. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we want to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Yield Sprout. Ooh. He was truly the father that none of us deserve. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. I wonder who did that. May he rest in peace. Anyway. Awkward, and now on to the show. Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess once again failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contest number one is a local of Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys the long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one. Contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it, also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at a three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She excuses grace. She truly has the most... Pol... Crit... What? Pol... Critudinous face, I guess? I don't know what that means. Yes, you know who we're talking about? She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give it a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent Sweetheart! Oh no, there's a blackout. How do we do it? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moles will get the power back in on no time. Help, we don't know what to do. Help, we don't know what to do either. Help, 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 help. Help. Well, maybe we should look around just in case. Help! 
Okay, I guess I need to walk out of here. Well, I guess the blackout affected all the Sprout Mole Village, too. Here, what do we do now? Butatious, desirable, seductive, beautiful, luscious, attractive, sexy, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, Grim. Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In case like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. These sprout moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. <laughs> Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free, feel free to try some. You got tofu. Okay. What's this? Ah, right. Okay. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Okay. This guy is sus. Let's go upstairs. Hey, you there. You creatures seem well with seasoned travelers. Can you help me out? My brother lives in the Sprout Mole Colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver this for me? Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. Make sure it gets to him safely. I hate Mondays. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. Delivered to Sprout Mole Colony. I can't use it. Damn, I wanted to open it. I wanted to steal it. Whatever, the Sprout Mole in question was pretty chill, so. This wall is nice and cold. Hey, look at the cool thing I drew. God damn it. <laughs> you too. Do you think we'll still be friends after we graduate? Despite all my rage, I'm still just a mole in a cage. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, that's evident. But neither do any of us, so. Mumbo Jumbo. This room is occupied. I cannot be disturbed right now. No humans allowed. This room is for sprout wolves only. We are two. We are one. We are Tuan. Alright. How dare you speak such blasphemy. It is only in common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense know that tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like, I don't know. Look warm? Ew. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. Poor hero. Ah, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feats in sliced bread. Tofu. Yeah, sure. C'est magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. Since tofu is high in soy content, it's not good for you if you have kidney stones. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Ho ho! Semenifique. Smoked tofu is a great alternative for me. If you wish to know more about that, okay, that's very common knowledge. It takes 12,672 blocks of tofu lined up end to end lengthwise to equal one mile. That is wild. Okay. If you wish to know more, okay. It takes 
No, okay. Same. Again. Okay. I'll do it one more time to see if there's anything else, if it's random chance or what. Oh, yeah, there's more. Firm tofu can be stir-fried, baked, cubed, and just about anything else. This is because it can retain its shape and still absorb flavor. If you wish to know more, yeah. That's about enough. It never hurts to have tofu on you at all times. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sticky situations with tofu. Look at me. I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? You're something, alright. Hello, oh, Sarah, madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It'll cost you exactly one clam. I know I need at least 10 tofu. I'm probably over 10 at this point, but I'm curious if I can actually get this guy to run out or something. Oh. That. I'll do that off stream. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna sit here just buying 99 tofu. I'll get myself close and then I'll do that. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Womp womp. Excellent. You recorded the joke in your egg book. In the joke book. Whatever. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Squeak. Squawk. Dirty laundry. Swish, swish, swish. Ah, winter. It may be snowy outside, but winter is time for friends and family. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa, and most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter is the best season. Oh, this does not bring me joy. Fall, autumn leaves, comfy clothes, the smell of cinnamon. The perfect time to cuddle up with a book, and with holidays right around the corner. You just gotta love fall. Fall is the best season. Well, you can agree to disagree, then. Ah, uh, summer, the sand, the sun, the beach, the waves, not to mention summer vacation. Finally, some time for rest and relaxation. That's what life is all about. Summer is the best season. Oh, boo. Ah, uh, spring. Spring brings us beauty. Spring brings us joy. Spring brings us life. Spring brings us a rejuvenating spirit to start things anew. Spring is the best season. Oh, poo and you. Yes, yes, spring's the best. I'm glad you agree. Here's a gift for me. Please enjoy it. The watering pail. Spring sympathizer. Choose the spring mold. <laughs> See, you've tossed your favor in the way of spring. You receive no gifts from me. <laughs> I see you've tossed your favor in the spring. Okay. I'm... Curious. Uh, we're talking to you. So, just to confirm, I already did that. Or I didn't already do that, but that isn't a thing. I will buy two of these. And it gives me achievements for the other ones as well. Then I'll have to do that again, which means I won't be buying it until I'm done with that, but... Yeah, I figured that. Let me figure out that kind of thing by myself. Right on, brother. Summer is the best, so thrilled you agree. Here's a gift from me. Use it well. Sunscreen. Bodies, Spirit of Summer, Heart Plus 15. Alright, well, achievements are being got currently. 
I concur. Fall is the best season. I'm delighted that you agree. Here's a gift for me. I hope you find a good use for it. A rake? By his spirit of fall, attack plus three. All the different seasons have a different advantage to them. Um, once upon a time, it was purely a summer thing for me. I always love summer. Uh, now I actually kind of more prefer the cold weather, so I kind of like winter more. Indeed, winter is the best season. Your agreement brings me great joy. Please have this gift. Uh, winter is the season of giving, after all. Best scarf. The win winter sympathizer. So we've gotten all of them now. Embodies the spirit of winter. Defense plus three. Um, I guess I'll just stick with winter because it is my favorite season, technically. Grat! The humble abode of Rosa. Grat, grat! The number one sweetheart fan in the world. So many people say that. And yet, I don't believe you. Because anyone who's a fan of sweetheart is not really a fan of sweetheart. Just fuck you. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, Warden. Is this as fast as we can go? Why isn't it working? I feel sick. Just keep running moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. I will go back down there in a minute. I'm going to check the other paths. Sprout moles will intelligent or also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. Alright. Christmas is my favorite time of year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? I am a bad person. Christmas Crusher. Ruin Christmas. Christmas is ruined. I got a present. <laughs> it's not what I wanted, though, so I'm angry about it. It's so hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. I don't even know what that means. Listen, sometimes you just gotta ruin Christmas for a bunch of kids. And steal their presents and not be happy that with what you stole. A bunch of books, but all the pages are glued shut. I'll check that in a minute. I'm working on revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony. Nay, the world. Yeah, careful, child. You could have ruined an incredibly delicate concoction. The measurement for the experiment is not 110% accurate. The chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough force to destroy the entire village. Okay. <laughs> I could have cut the cable and just killed the thing. Alright, let's do this. The painful truth. Okay. Um, headbutt ya. Annoy you. And smile. Everyone feels happy now. Well, that sucks. Do I have anything to... Angry, sad... I mean, 
if I remember right, uh, sad is weak to, uh, sad is strong gets happy, happy is strong gets angry, and angry is strong gets sad. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> You're fine. Okay, um... Ad break. Fun, fun. Right in the heart. Right in the heart. And a break right here. Oh, they can be ecstatic. I thought they couldn't be. trick. See if I can get some good crits going. That's not good. All right, hey Aubrey, get back up. This guy hurts. I might not be able to do this. Mainly because my he's messing with my strategy so much. Um, I'm just gonna stab you. I'm gonna use toy to make you sad. I need to do it with him. Uh...
Rain cloud. Do a full heal on everyone. Savvy, savvy. Problem is that they're recovering too much, so I guess I need to just kill one root a turn, essentially. Okay, so you need to use headbutt. I need you to make her angry, and I need that toy. Um. Bring back everyone's juice. 100 juice to all friends. You son of a. You're ruining my plans. that I guess but you Let's see if I can get angry to go yeah okay it did work ooh Gotcha. 206 damage, nice. That's more what I'm used to dealing with. Stabby, stabby. Headbutcha. Um. Let's snack on a pancake. And uh, let's make this root spicy. 106. Ouch. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. Stabby, stabby. Um. Wish I'd re-equipped the res ability. I forgot to. And that's on me. I needed this thing dead, like, yesterday. Okay. Now I'm going to actually attack with a Mori. Headbutt with you on the root. I'm going to annoy the King Carnivore and heal Aubrey. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. 11. Ouch. Release my energy. Use my ultimate attack.
I'm gonna headbutt you. Right in the heart. 136. Alright. Stabby, stabby. Headbutt ya. Annoy you to get that status back on you. And cook. Why? You're such a pain in my ass. Just ricochet. Even close. It roars, which means it's probably going to attack this next turn, but... You need to be dead, like, yesterday. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Okay, no more healing for you. Of course. Always, huh? Stabby, stabby. Dino Jam. And... Can I make him even matter? I guess this is a time where I should test it. Ooh, you son of a... Whatever. Should be good. Annoy her. See if I can get crits with everyone else at least. I'm a headbutt ya. and gun. Oh, really? Oh, right. It makes you sad. And then it lowers your speed. You're heavily affected by emotions. Come on. Just finish you off. Sorry this was such a scuff battle. <laughs> Amorius Party was victorious. 9,000 experience, 2375 clams, and I found a rain cloud which I used during this battle, so it's not really worth it. Grew to level 25 and learn stare. Alright, before I do anything... Uh, skills, hero, uh, honestly, it's very rare I'll ever run into that. I'd rather use a heal all item at that point. Homemade jam. Oh, wait, enchant. Axe first. Uh, foe targets here for one turn and becomes happy. Okay. Uh. Yep. Now, Amori. What does Stare do? Reduce all the foe's stats. That's really good, actually. 
Um... Okay, orange juice, combo meal, and life jam. It was fine. Uh, combo meal, combo meal, combo meal. Uh, what more could you ask for? It heals 250 heart and juice. Uh, 100 juice. All right. All right. So I could have cut that cable and I would have skipped that battle. But I wouldn't have gotten 9,000 experience and also good content. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Amori. We're gonna go and probably have to run on a treadmill from what I can tell to generate power. I don't really know what that was. We'll see you next time. See you all then. Bye.